Good morning, Panthers. Uh, here to talk to you about your, what was this, part 12? Is that what this was? No, part 11. I have it mislabeled. So this is a good time to show you this as well. Uh, if you look up at the top up here, um, I actually saved this with the incorrect name and number. I've already hit this button. Uh, yours is probably grayed out if you've already saved it. And if you want to save it as something different, you want to change the name, you can go to this file, drop down here, and you get all these options. And I want to save as, and I want it to be the same file, but I want to be like, oh, no, I messed up. I'm going to save this as number 11 because I messed up. So then I hit save. And let's go over here and look. And you'll see as I scroll down, I have a part 11 and a part 12. So part 11 is the one I just saved, obviously. And 12 is the one that I messed up on. So I don't want that. So in my data panel over here in my file, I can just right click on that. And then there's delete that will confirm that I want to delete. Yes, I do. Because I want to be working on part 11. All right. So now back to where we were in terms of what do we do here? Uh, he went through some things about editing the material and giving an appearance and all that. And the new Fusion 360 that you guys are using and, we're, and I'm using with you is a little bit different than his. So I want to kind of talk to you about that. And so he would right click on this and then give it an appearance and materials and all of that. Uh, what we need to do is a little bit differently. All you need to do to do that is highlight the whole thing and then right click on it. And there's where we can give it a material. The other way to do that, if you don't want to select everything, is the same way that we've been doing it to bring up our properties box. We can go over here to body. And we select the whole body by doing that. And then there I can also right click on that body and give it a material. So we'll do it this way now and you can do it the other way is just fine. And then your screen pops up much like his and we double clicked metal. And then he scrolled all the way down until he got into the eyes. And he chose the iron gray cast, I believe, ASTM A48 grade 30. And so that's what we're going to do too. And I'm going to click that. I'm going to drag it over. I've got the whole thing. This whole thing was already selected by checking on that. So I just let it sit, uh, drop it, drag it, and drop it right on there. And now all of this has that material. So let's close that and let's just check and see. So let's go over here and right click and let's bring up your properties menu. Perfect. So if we look here, we now have an area and a mass. Our density is now assigned. Volume, all this is now assigned, but right here tells us that yes, our whole part did get that material that we want. So we can hit OK on that. And now the other thing that he did, and I'll do it this way, I'll do it differently this time just by highlighting it and right clicking on it, was he then gave it an appearance. He wanted it to look like cast steel, right? And so in your appearance library, you were able to, um, yours will look a little bit different. I think mine. Um, I had to go in and select metals and then go down and select steel. And then here's the, the rough steel right here. And so we can go put that appearance on there. And now I'm going to turn my origins off and kind of zoom in and take a look at it. And perfect. So we have that rough cut steel look. So let's right click here and open up our properties window again. And I'm going to click off of my part somewhere on the screen so that it's not blue anymore. But this is my properties for all of this part. My material is now set and my appearance is now set on top of the area, the density, and the mass, and all that good stuff now. Okay, so um, if we go to the home view, this is the view that you get. And to turn this in, I don't want this view. So instead of doing this view, because right now we're at this corner, I want you to move your mouse over so that you just get that back corner highlighted. So that takes me to kind of like a back isometric view, right? And so now I still see top, front, and left. And I think that's going to be the best view for you to turn this in. Okay, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And, um, you know, I've already got this saved. But I'm going to save it again. And you can label your version anything you want. I'm just going to say materials and appearance added. And so now I've got my most up to date one saved. I want to right click here again and bring up my properties window. 
and I've got my view set and this is what we want to take a screenshot of. So you would go to your snipping tool and use that to drag a window across this whole part now with all of this stuff showing. It should look just like mine. If you want to turn the origin off, you can. That's up to you. Um, but all this stuff should be the same. Materials, appearance, all that good stuff. All right. Thank you.